Hello, um, I would like, I'm Nicolas, and I would like to talk to you again about joint learning of brain lesion and anatomy segmentation from a heterogeneous data set. Um, so um, <clears throat> the joint learning program is basically uh, when you want, we want to have a model that performs uh, segmentation on two different tasks. In this case, for example, is uh, anatomical uh, segmentation and lesion segmentation of uh, white matter hyperintensities. Uh, but we only have training data sets that have either the anatomical tissues or the lesion, se lesion segmentation, right? Um, basically, this is a problem because if you want to train a regular unit uh, with regular cross entropy with this, it works really bad. Um, so I'm going to uh, post two solutions we came up. Uh, the first one is very simple. It's just uh, you train one, one network with an anatomical data set and another network on the lesion data set. And then when you get a new image, you basically just compute the anatomical segmentation and the lesion segmentation, and you paste the lesions on top of the anatomical segmentation, and then you get your result, right? Uh, this works really well because uh, each, each network only performs one task. Uh, but we have the, the downside that we have two networks, so we have double the cost to, um, to evaluate new images. And there are a lot of drawbacks. We have twice the parameters. Uh, so what we wanted to do is to get a single model that has the same performance as this one, but uses only one network. So what we proposed is to use, uh, we adapted the, the traditional cross entropy. Uh, by looking at where are the problems when we try to train a single model. The problems happen when, uh, when you have a, a lesion image and you have lesion background. Uh, this lesion background is something that you show the model that it is. Um, in, in some images, you say this is white matter or gray matter, and the other one, you say this is background, right? This is what confuses the model. So basically, what we did is we proposed a, a new function that unifies the lesion background by saying, the only thing I know about this is that it's not, not lesion, right? So we just want to maximize uh, the score that the model assigns to the, um, the rest of the classes, right? So these are pretty much our results. This is the ground truth. This is if you train a model uh, with regular cross entropy. This is if you use two different networks. And this is if you use our custom cross entropy. Uh, in some cases, even we managed to outperform the, the two different networks. This is because our single network saw two different data sets, so it's a bit more robust to the domain changes. Uh, so a couple of takeaways is uh, the, the key to our, to our work was to understand the contradictions that were happening during the training. Um, then we achieved comparable segmentation using one single network to compared to using two different networks. Uh, we even outperformed them in some cases due to being more robust to the multi-domain problem. And we experimented this uh, on two different scenarios, uh, white matter hyperintensities and tumors. And we got consistent results on both cases. Uh, thank you very much.